Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on solving a trig equation. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to factor this one. Let's treat it as 2x squared, uh, it's about a variable, 2y squared minus 3y plus 1. So let's factor this one. This one factored out to be 2y uh, minus 1, and then I have a y minus 1 here as well. So let's make sure I got it. So 2y squared minus y and I have 2y squared minus 2y minus y plus 1. So I have a 2y squared minus 3y plus 1. Okay, so this one it fits out. Um, substituting our sine x back in there. So I have 2 of sine x minus 1 times sine of x minus 1 equal to 0. Having arrived here, we're going to split them up, solving each one separately. Uh, for this half, I have 12 x sine equal to 1, so sine x basically equal to half. I'm looking for a solution between 0 to pi to 2 pi, such that sine of x equal to half. And on this side, I'm looking for sine x equal to 1. The best way to solve or find angles is to draw a sine curve. Okay, so it's basically looking like this. Sine curve starts with 0. We're looking for half. This is sine of x. This one is x. Okay, so this is a pi. And we're looking for a half. Our reference angle here, sine of pi over 6, which is 30 degrees, that's equal to half. So, okay, so this is pi over 6. And this is pi over 6 away, which is pi minus pi over 6. Okay, that's all we have within 0 to 2 pi. So here I have x equal to pi over 6 and x equal to pi minus pi over 6, or basically 5 pi over 6. Okay, that's the two solutions on this side. Sine x equal to 1, it's actually easy because in 0 to pi, and there's only one angle, that's pi over 2. So x equal to pi over 2, it's on this side. All right, hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of the Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join me. Together, we can conquer math. Until then, have a confident day.